Welcome to Tech Talk, sponsored by Keycode Media. It's called the multi-band compressor. Now, there's two. Ignore anything that's got legacy after it. That's for an older version. You always want to work on the new, the new version. Grab it and drag it on top of a clip. What the multi-band compressor does is this. Notice that I've selected the clip. Notice in the effect control, click on edit, and oh my goodness, just this is just out of control. What do all these controls do? And the good news is you can ignore all of them because there's a preset that we can take advantage of. And what this filter is doing is it's amplifying the softest passages of a, of a piece of voice and not amplifying the loud passages, and it's doing it breaking it down into four frequency bands. If we look here on the left-hand side, this is frequencies below human speech, low-range human speech, high-end human speech, and frequencies above human speech. So really, we're tweaking these two. Now, remember, low frequencies are your vowels. This gives your voice its richness and its warmth. High-frequency sounds are your consonants. This provides a voice its diction. So what we're doing is we're amplifying the low frequency a different amount than the high frequency, and the setting you want to use is broadcast. When you open this up, change to any other setting, I don't care what it is, and then go back to broadcast, and it resets the filter so all the broadcast settings are set. This is a wonderful default setting for human speech. Men or women makes no difference. What it's doing is it's amplifying the softer passages more than the louder passages, and at the same time, it's setting a limit. Look down at here. See where this margin category is. If you have a voice, dialogue, a narrator, and it's the only piece of audio in your project, set this number, the margin, to negative three. If this voice is part of a mix where you've got dialogue and sound effects and music, set this number to negative 4.5. I'm going to set this to negative 3 because I've only got this one audio in here. What you've told the system to do is to amplify the clip, but at no time should any portion of the clip ever exceed negative 3 dB. Whatever the setting is in the margin, that's the loudest that part of the clip will ever be. See, what's happening is this. As the clip passes over time, through time, let's say that this instant here is negative 20, and I apply, say, 15 dB of gain to it, it goes from negative 20 to negative 5. I've taken the soft passage and made it louder. The next one is negative 18. I apply 15 dB of gain to it. It goes from negative 18 to negative 3. No problem. But the next one is negative 15. I apply 15 dB of gain, but it hits that negative 3 limit above which it can't go. The rest of that amplification gets thrown away. So the louder passages are always limited to whatever you set in the margin setting, in this case negative 3, and the softer passages get full amplification. This means that the whole clip has the perception of being louder. This is the basis of both the, the multiband compressor and the limiter filter. We'll see the limiter in a, in a little bit later. So listen to the difference. Let's just close this clip here. So let's suppress this. Let's bypass it so we don't hear what this sounds like, and listen. This is microphone one. One of our key audio challenges is getting... Okay, and now let's turn it on. This is microphone one. One of our key audio challenges is getting the same talent recorded on different days using different mics to sound the same. What this does, let's just take a different clip here, and let's go this one, and... Um, I'm just going to drag it over to there. And this is a, a two-channel clip. I'm going to select both channels and apply the multi-band compressor to both. And notice that it's got it on effect track 1 and effect track 2. I'll set this to broadcast. i got to switch off it and then switch back to get all the settings to be correct and set the margin, that's the only one that we adjust, to negative 3. And off broadcast, and then back to broadcast, set the margin 
to negative three, because it's the only things that are going on at this time. And now play it. This is with it turned off. All right, um, we are here at the Cinedec booth, and I'm here with in awards in the industry. All right, not great. Let's just turn our compressor on. Deck launched at NAB of 2010 and quickly uh, garnered a couple of significant awards. Can you hear the difference? Without me having to make any other changes, just by applying the multi-band compressor, it takes the softer dialogue and makes it loud enough to be able to hear and yet guarantees that it doesn't distort. That's what that margin is doing. It's preventing any distortion by having the audio go too loud.